guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xcans.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. about refeeds versus cheat meals versus treat meals. Some people call a treat meal a cheat meal, but I think that they're totally different. Refeed in general is a totally different idea than a cheat meal or a treat meal. All of these meals generally happen because you are following some type of a carbohydrate restricted diet. If you are restricting your carbs for let's say four to eight weeks and you're constantly working out and working out hard, you are going to be depleting the glycogen storage in your muscles, okay? The sugars, the carbs that are stored in our muscles. Carbohydrates are directly related to performance, specifically explosive performance, which we will need to train at our peak if you're going to sprint or if you're going to you know, lift heavy weights and try to go for your max. So what people do to replenish their glycogen stores, their sugar, their carb stores in their muscles is planned refeeds. Now a refeed is different than a treat or a cheat meal because a refeed is with quote unquote clean carbs, okay? So you are refeeding upping the amount of carbs that you're intaking to help you reach your goal. Something that has an objective, that has a set carb intake and calorie intake. Something that is not going to set you back, but instead restore your glycogen stores to propel you forward towards reaching your goals the next week. So a refeed is a structured meal or an entire day so that you can restore your glycogen stores. A refeed typically does not include as many carbs and or calories as a cheat or a treat meal. A cheat meal might be planned, okay, but there's no structure to it. There's no watching calories, fat, carb, protein intake. You're going to eat anything and everything you want because you are cheating and you're telling yourself, forget it, I'm gonna cheat. The benefit of it isn't one that is going to propel you toward your goal per se. Now, it might have a psychological benefit that'll make you sort of reset yourself I had my cheat meal, I got that out of the way, now I'm gonna finish strong. Now, a treat meal is between a refeed and a cheat because a treat meal, you could say, I'm just going to have a piece of cheesecake today, which I normally do not have, or a burger, but a treat meal can be as close to a refeed, meaning clean foods and structured as possible, or as close to a cheat meal as you like. My personal treat meals, especially if they're like eight weeks separated from each other, it is not going to be like a refeed. It's more going to be as a celebration of reaching my goal and it's going to be closer to a cheat meal. To sum up, a refeed, totally structured, it's going to help you restore your glycogen stores in your muscles and it's going to do something that is propelling you closer to your goal objective. A cheat meal, all caution to the wind, more of a psychological reset, a relaxation, but there might be physical repercussions that you're going to have to deal with afterwards. So when you go to cheat, just think about that. Now a treat meal can be as close to a refeed as possible or as close to a cheat meal as possible, but a treat meal is set up specifically for you to celebrate a success. If it's losing 30 pounds, you don't wanna do it every five pounds, do it every 10 pounds. And if it's trying to get into ketosis and starting a new eating approach, even if it's not ketosis, do not throw in a treat meal or a cheat meal or a refeed within the first three weeks of starting that eating approach. That's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate it. The website again is x dash, that's the symbol, not the word, gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Peace.